Welcome to another Down the Rabbit Hole video. A couple weeks ago, I posted my video where I unboxed and put together this Johnny Walker Black Label whiskey bottle from the original Blade Runner film. And as part of that video, I did mention, unfortunately, I only had a standard kind of a tumbler to drink it out of, so that's no good. But now, in here, I have the proper square one. Um, the original film, uh, Ridley Scott uh, told his prop masters to go out and find as many pieces that looked interesting. Now, there's a story in the making of the Blade Runner uh, DVD where they talk about how they'd gone through dozens and dozens of coffee mugs that Holden drinks out of at the beginning of the film. Uh, so for uh, Rick Deckard's whiskey glass, they went with an Italian one from the 1970s. It's spelled C-I-B-I. -I. I'm assuming that's pronounced Chibi. To me, Chibi has more of a video game reference of kind of balloon-headed uh, Japanese characters. But anyway, uh, in looking up Blade Runner glass, quite often Chibi uh, glasses would be the uh, result from the search. So that's what it is. It's from 1970, and apparently the 37CL, or centiliter, is the correct size that Deckard used. And that's what we have in here. This just arrived from the UK, and I'm going to unbox it and check out to this awesome looking glass. Okay, that's it open. It's a really large box for what is basically a little tumbler. Well, not that little, but even so. I don't know why it's got such a huge box for it. But I've seen other unboxings, and yeah, they always ship them in these very long boxes. There we go. The rest of the box is empty. I guess for such a hefty uh, tumbler, they really nicely package it to make sure it's not going to break or crack in shipping. There we go. Arnolfo di Cambio design. All right. Chibi. Bit, ooh. I'm not very good at Italian. What would that be? Bicchiere? Bicchiere? Anyway, all right, let's open this up and check out the sweet whiskey glass. Yes, just one. I only need one. So I guess this is just empty packaging. If I'd ordered two, they would be both in here. Oh, it's even got a little, what is this, a certificate? Certificate. Cato de Garen... Garenzia. So, a certificate of guarantee. Oh, there we go. Guarantee certificate in English. There we go. I'll read that again later. Oh, uh, yeah. Pure crystal. Okay, so this is... Uh, it was not a cheap glass, and I can already feel from the weight of it, It's it's got some heft to it. A uh, quick note, there is a box set for Blade Runner 2049 coming out in Australia. It might be out already that has two whiskey glasses just like this in the box set. Uh, I posted a question on the RPF, remember I mentioned them when I talked about the bottle, where I said, hey, should I be getting one of these genuine chibi glasses or should I just get that box set? The thing I don't like about the box set, it's got Blade Runner 2049 etched into the glass right on the side and I'd rather have them be blank just so that they're a bit more screen authentic. A uh, fellow on the RPF uh, made a very big comment. He's actually from Australia. He said, do not get that one. It's cheap glass. It's not very good, and I don't like the etched myself. Get the genuine article. So big thanks to him. Uh, I'm going to put this. I, I, I have purchased this real genuine chibi glass here. So let's now unwrap it. Oops, upside down. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's got a little, um, what does that say on the paper? Oh, it's the same thing. Ameri Arnolfo du Cambrio, whatever that says. Let's unpackage this. Now, already I see the thing that I wasn't too thrilled with. There's a black little sticker on the glass, which I had seen in some unboxing videos. But the fellow in the RPF said, not to worry, that's just a sticker. You can peel that off. So. 
Oh, there it is. There's the chibi glass. <laughs> wow. That is, wow, that is heavy. Yeah, that's a, that's a solid glass that's not going to go anywhere. Man, oh man, look at that. It's got the uh, slight corners there, so you, apparently that's where you want to drink it, and you even see Harrison Ford himself, he actually drinks from the corner. So yeah, I, when I eventually give this a try, I'm going to clean it off, get the sticker off and stuff. I may try drinking it from the square, from the flat edge, just for uh, giggles, but yeah, it's properly drunk from the corners. But yeah, no, that's that's a really that's a solid glass. That's not going anywhere. I like it a lot. There we go. Yeah. Now I've got pretty big hands, and this glass actually feels pretty good for me. But I think if you're not six feet tall like myself, uh, you're gonna have um, a bit of a challenge holding that. That is a serious glass for some serious drinking. We'll clean this guy off. Get those stickers off. And then, we'll try a little drink. Okay, I have cleaned up the glass. It looks super nice. And what a work of art. Very, very pleased with that. Now, let's try drinking out of it. Uh, I've got some uh, water to start off, just to, just to get an idea here. As I mentioned, uh, just for fun, I'm actually going to try and drink from the flat side. I'm Got a towel standing by here. Let's see what happens if you try to drink along the flat edge. Actually, it's doable. Uh, you gotta have a pretty big mouth like me, but it's doable. I'm surprised, but <clears throat> let's just try where it's supposed to go on the corner. Yeah, on the corner is the way to go for sure. All right, so now that we've done the trial run, it's time to do this properly here. A little swig of uh, the corner here. Pretty good, pretty good. But I think I need to do this properly. 